Mike's Way. And I'm Mike. Uh, today we got a pretty hefty list of things we're going to do to the Lightning Project. Um, we're going to do the intercooler, turkey pan to lead, um, oil separator, door handles, air filters. Uh, we're going to do everything. Uh, this is going to be a pretty extensive, quick moving video. But I'm also going to put that camera really close so you guys can check out what's going on. Please comment if you guys see something um, you have a question about, anything like that. Hope you guys enjoy the video and we're just going to get right to it. Alright guys, I got the infamous elbow for the uh, turkey pan out. It is done and I actually got the elbow. And if you notice, so I don't drop my wrench and lose it, I got a magnet on a string and it's 11 sixteenths. Never dropped my wrench one time. Let me tell you, that'll save you some time. Um, we still got a few things to do. Um, I got to get rid of the uh, tube for the EGR still. I got to still take it off down there at the manifold. Um, I'm going to try to clean this up some. We still got spark plugs to do and get done. Um, I am actually going to pressure wash the inside of the uh, intercooler uh, hard lines out that cross the manifold. Make sure those things are nice and clean out. They look to be a little gunky, but <clears throat> as you guys can see, this is that elbow and boy it was not super fun I don't know if you guys can see it it's a real weird design basically throws oil back up under your uh, intercooler and this thing we're having 132,000 miles on it now isn't that bad somebody must have recently did this I'm very happy to see this somebody took care of it back of it pretty dirty so we're gonna clean a lot of that up um here is the supercharger if you guys notice we do have a uh, single blade you can see the little oil residue um that's what happens when they use the recirculation system they uh they really tend to oil up on the inside so uh not sponsored by heineken but uh i still drink it and as you can see, I don't got a whole lot of light under there, but it's a little oily. The blades look really nice. We're going to do a little bit of cleaning get that all cleaned up. Uh, the upper plenum on this has been ported. Um, I don't think we can get a view up in there, but uh, we'll worry about that later because we're going to rip that supercharger off again before too long so hope you guys are liking it uh, please let me know if you guys got any questions i'm gonna throw a brass 3 8 uh plug back in there plug is in all there is to it obviously i'd probably let uh, a day go by before you uh just fire a rub let that thing get a good seal.
All right, guys, I'm just removing some of the casting bits that are left on here. They're basically extra weight. They just don't look good. I'm taking the aluminum uh, carving blade and we're just gonna knock these things off right here. You can see they actually band saw cut them after it's casted. Um, it's just a way to shave a couple of pounds and looks a little better. battery. Be right back. EGR all done. This was not very cool. Where it seems a little wet down there. But we got that out. So uh, I'm going to strap on a harness for the next part and see if I can get you guys a little better coverage. Uh, I don't know how it's going to work, but I hope you guys like it. So I'm going the fuel regulator because my truck has been running rich here lately and I just hope this would take care of the problem. We'll see what it does. separator kit it's gonna go over here most people they actually recommend you mount it way up here and um, yeah there's no way I'm mounting it right there on my car so uh, yeah that's gonna change we're gonna actually just copy these holes right here I want to punch two holes through this factory back that holds the wiring harness it's tucked back there a little bit but uh you know what I don't really care uh, I, I'm not putting it right there on that piece of plastic right out in front of God and everybody so we're gonna make it look a little slicker, uh, a little more factory looking. Thanks Bryce for the uh, snap-on pliers. Oh, so nice. you guys about something else the JC customs EGR delete kit man I am really happy with this kit I don't know if you can tell from the pictures but this is the uh, EGR to the manifold delete for the tube and this is the block off for the EGR device with stainless Allen hardware included it's got a super nice o-ring fitting so just make sure you file it make sure that surface is really nice clean maybe a little bit of oil that thing is still up real nice and the third thing i thought that they sent that was super cool this is to hold the last o2 sensor that you're actually going to need i thought this is so cool he made his own bracket um, and he also sent the uh, stainless hardware for that as well 
that self tapped into it no stupid nuts to fall off or you're trying to fumble back beyond the supercharger to get this thing on man i think this is a really nice kit uh, I, I suggest this for you guys um pretty simple um i happen to be doing it at the time i'm doing a ton of other mods uh well not a ton of other mods but the turkey pan uh, oil separator, but uh, you guys should look at this kit. It's really a complete kit and it's nice He could have went cheap and not gave you this And you cut this up from your old one or something like that, but all stainless hardware uh, really nice uh, <coughs> EGR delete cap um, Can't recommend it enough. Uh, thanks again uh, For helping us out with this uh, JC customs make sure you check them out Okay guys, uh, I'm wrapping up the EGR delete. I just want to try to make this as easy as possible. So first off, everything goes back the same way. This port down here, one goes to the regulator, one is going to tee to your boost gauges on the inside. The other is going to run right back to your uh, boost bypass. The one towards the front of the engine. After that, the other one on your boost bypass is right here. It goes right under the intake. You aren't doing anything with that. There's going to be one other one that runs behind the engine over here. It's going to be this red one right here. After that, nothing else is going to run behind the engine. Nothing. So, as far as vacuum lines go. <clears throat> After that, come on over here. And you have a T that is originally right here. That actually does go around the back of the engine but just do yourself a favor put a little straight right there plumb it right back the way it was after that you have to block off one of these ends i do it the old-fashioned way a little blow torch crush it down uh you know get your fingers a little wet crush it down while it's still hot boom you got you got a block vacuum line <clears throat> um and that red one is the other one that connects to that particular device i think it's something for the fuel so after that you're going to come over here you have one of these you have to plug this little guy right here you're going to take it out it's a little tiny vacuum line that runs all the way over and doesn't do nothing for you so we're just going to get rid of that i decided to tuck mine back behind all these other cables to make it look a little nicer um after that don't forget you got to still deal with uh your oil separator if you haven't done that i still have to deal with mine not quite sure what I'm going to do yet. Probably going to have to run to the hardware store and uh, grab a couple of things. Um, this one actually just runs under here, connects the bottom of the intake. Bang, boom, bing. Uh, you're pretty much done after that. If you need a slower video on these vacuum lines, I'll be happy to do that. Everything else is pretty self uh, uh, self supplantatory. Um, look it up if you need to, but it's really not that hard. You're just eliminating a few of the vacuum hoses. Um, I'm not sure what kind of codes I'm going to throw, but uh, I'll have somebody uh, go ahead and uh, <coughs> put a tune together for me that will get rid of the code, I hope. <coughs> and uh, that, that's going to be pretty much it. Uh, I'll do a video when we do the first fire up. I still got uh, unfortunately, filming the fire up didn't work out so well. The film is completely lost in Never Neverland. But we'll have part two coming out here very soon with the spark plugs and the rest of the items on the list, plus a few others. Hope you guys have a great new year.